James did not see the fat controller for several days. They left James alone in the shed and did not even allow him to go out and push coaches and trucks in the yard. Oh dear, he thought sadly, I'll never be allowed out anymore. I shall have to stay in the shed for always and no one will ever see my red coat again. Oh dear, oh dear. James began to cry. Just then, the fat controller came along. I see you are sorry, James, he said. I hope now that you will be a better engine. You have given me a lot of trouble. People are laughing at my railway, and I do not like that at all. I am very sorry, sir, said James. I will try hard to behave. That's a good engine, said the fat controller kindly. I want you to push some trucks for me. Run along and find them. So James puffed away happily. Here are your trucks, James said a little tank engine. Have you got some boot laces ready? And he ran off, laughing rudely. Ho, 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 said the trucks as James backed down on them. We want a proper engine, not a red monster. James took no notice and started as soon as the guard was ready. Come along, come along, he puffed. We won't, we won't, screamed the trucks. But James didn't care, and he pulled the screeching trucks sternly out of the yard. The trucks tried hard to make him give up, but he still kept on. Sometimes their brakes would slip on, and sometimes their axles would run hot. Each time, they would have to stop and put the trouble right. And each time, James would start again, determined not to let the trucks beat him. Give up, give up, you can't pull us, you can't, you can't, called the trucks. I can and I will, I can and I will, puffed James. And slowly but surely, he pulled them along the line. At last, they saw Gorn's Hill ahead. Log out for trouble, James, warned his driver. We'll go fast and get them up before they know it. Don't let them stop you. So James went faster, and they were soon halfway up the hill. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! He panted. But it was hard work. Will the top ever come? He thought. When, with a sudden jerk... It all came easier. I've done it! I've done it! He puffed triumphantly. Hooray! He thought. It's easy now. But his driver shut off steam. We've done it again, he said. We've left our tail behind. The last ten trucks were running backwards down the hill. The coupling had snapped. But the guard was brave. Very carefully and cleverly, he made them stop. Then he got out and walked down the line with his red flag. That's why it was easy, said James as he backed down the other trucks carefully down. What silly things trucks are! There might have been an accident. Meanwhile, the guard, who had stopped Edward, who was pulling at three coaches. Shall I help you, James? called Edward. Uh, no thank you, Edward, answered James. I'll pull them myself. Good, don't let them beat you. So James got ready. Then, with a peep peep, he was off. I can do it! I can do it! He puffed. He pulled and puffed as hard as ever he could. Peep, 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 peep! You're doing well, whistled Edward, as James slowly struggled up the hill, with clouds of smoke and steam pouring from his funnel. I've done it! I've done it! He panted and disappeared over the top. They reached their station safely, and James was resting in the yard, when Edward puffed by with a cheerful peep peep. Then, walking towards him, across the rails, James saw the fat controller. Oh dear, what will he say? He asked himself sadly. But the fat controller was smiling. I was in Edward's train and I saw everything, he said. You've made the most troublesome trucks on the line behave. After that, you deserve to keep your red coat.